Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, uh, February 23rd, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, as, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the Great British Pound and the US Dollar, and as you can see, we continue to rally. We are trading at 14.06 and 98 at this current stage. We are outside of the bullish band, or we were outside of the bullish band, and then pulled back a little bit, but we have been there for the last few, four days. At this point, we are getting very overstretched in this currency pair. So a pullback is expected at any point. We're at the 75 here in the RSI, which is ex extremely high at this, at this stage as well. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential, roughly 13, 19, uh, 1390, that is uh, probably where this will bounce back to the upside. So pullbacks are uh, possible buying opportunities. However, technical indicators are still very bullish for this currency pair. So in no interest of basically shorting this, this is basically a buy on the dips. So let's look at the US dollar yen. And as you can see, 300 moving average was massive support. We have broken down to the yellow line here, which is the 200 moving average. And we're trading at 105.062. We have crossed the middle of the bullish band here. So we'll most likely head towards the bottom of the bullish band of roughly 104.444. So technical indicators, they have all turned around. There's a lot of room to the, to the downside. We're only at 40. Five here in the RSI, so we are most likely going to head to the bottom of this of the Bullinger band before uh, pulling back. So yes, there's a lot of support underneath, so there, so there should be quite a lot of choppiness in going through these moving moving averages. However, MACD is negative, the stochastic is uh, is bearish as well, and so so is the CCI. CCI. So pullbacks at this point are selling opportunities so the euro us dollar we have broken through the 50 moving average and now we're heading towards probably towards uh, 12 uh, 20 that is probably where we'll have a pullback towards the 50 moving average if the moving 50 moving average um, behaves as support then that could mean that we'll go slowly to the upside we have been trading sideways for quite a few weeks now and this is actually yeah, compared to this, this is the first time we have um, um, a candlestick that is basically above the 50 moving average. We're basically stopping above the 50 moving average. So if you're going to get an opening here with another green candlestick and that is trading above the 50, that's a very encouraging sign that we are going to break out of the 50 moving average. Technical indicators, they are nearly all uh, bullish at this point. MACD, stochastic, and the CCI are bullish while the RSI is negative at this point so it is also at the 65 so um yes and we're on the edge of being overbought and there's not a lot of uh, upside to the in the in the bullinger band so let's look at the aussie dollar us dollar we continue to rally to the upside we have the last four trading days this has rallied 2.56 percent we are getting very close to this target here of 0 0.8 and at this point, technical indicators are still very bullish. However, we are very overstretched here in the Bollinger Band. We are way outside. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential, roughly 0 0.77. That is fairly likely at this point. Um, as well, we are significantly overbought. The RSI is at 84. So buying at this stage, well, that could be a headache because it is very likely that we'll pull back and then rally. So let's look at the US dollar, Canadian dollar. We did rally and then break, break down. And now we're trading right at this line that I put up, which is the previous lows over here and previous lows that we also tested here. And if this we start trending underneath, underneath this, then we are going significantly lower. We are getting very overstretched um, here. We are almost at the bottom of the Bollinger Band. The RSI is at the 31. We are almost overbought. And other technical indicators are very bullish at this point. Um, pullbacks towards the 20 exponential, that is very likely. We did do that today, but we then broke down. So we created this inverted hammer here. But at this point, to sell it here when the RSI is this low 
that is um, asking for trouble. So pullbacks towards a 20 or a 50 moving average, um, that is basically uh, the possibility to sell it. To sell it here is very, very risky. So hope you found this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our new series, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck, and thank you very much. Thank you.